Anti-heroes walking the mysterious gray line between good and evil. They do what they want, however they want, when they want it. Vegeta, prince of the Saiyans and rival to Goku. And Shadow, the ultimate life form and rival to Sonic. I'm Wizard and he's Boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Born a prince to a warrior-like Saiyan race, Vegeta's people were slaughtered by an evil tyrant named Frieza, who molded Vegeta into a deadly, ruthless killer. Over time, however, Frieza's iron grip over him led Vegeta to rebel, ushering Frieza's final defeat with the help of fellow Saiyan Goku. After struggling with adapting to life on Earth, Vegeta eventually became one of the planet's strongest defenders. He even got hitched to Bulma, breaking poor Master Roshi's heart. Vegeta can move and fly at hypersonic speed. He can survive underwater and in far outer atmospheres for long periods of time. He even has the endurance to survive a nuclear frickin' blast. Vegeta can use a natural inner energy called Ki to create devastating attacks. His trademark attack is a purple laser called the Gallic Gun. His Big Bang attack unleashes a huge explosion of energy covering a vast distance and can be narrowed to a beam for concentrated accuracy. He can launch a volley of energy bullets, pounding his foe with dozens of deadly blasts. But his most devastating move is his final flash attack, a huge golden beam that can destroy whole planets. Vegeta's key is quite versatile and not limited to these four attacks. He is never without a weapon. But wait, there's more! That's right, Vegeta can reach the legendary status of Super Saiyan, a near indestructible form which increases his power output by 500%. And he can take this form to the next level for yet another 500% increase. That's a lot of power and math. The Super Saiyan form is sustained through Vegeta's remaining energy. Also, despite reaching the level of Super Saiyan 4, he was only able to do so with Bulma's Bloodswave machine and cannot do so naturally. In a death battle, we don't allow help from spouses. Vegeta is cocky, arrogant, and proud. He seeks to be the best and is willing to fight the best to do so, even allowing his opponents to reach power levels much greater than his own. Well, this has led to him dying twice so far, he's still around somehow, kicking ass and being a dick. I am a Super Saiyan! And you can burn in hell! Built by Professor Gerald Robotnik with alien DNA, Shadow the Hedgehog was created to be the ultimate life form. Despite being a powerful living weapon, Shadow's initial purpose was to provide genes capable of curing the deathly ill, specifically Gerald's granddaughter Maria. But before Shadow could be shared with the world, tragedy struck. Then Shadow went crazy and tried to destroy the Earth for revenge, but he ended up saving the day instead. Though people are still getting sick on Earth, so I uh, guess he kind of forgot about that whole living cure thing, huh? Shadow can move at hypersonic speeds and survive underwater and in space. He's even tough enough to survive a fall to the Earth from the moon, and that's one long ass fall. Well, it wasn't exactly the moon, but Shadow survived a fall of about 200,000 miles. By the time he hit the ground, he was falling at a rate of over 6 million feet per second. I feel sorry for whatever was around when he landed, some guy just walking along there. Oh my God. Right, Shadow possesses a natural link to the Chaos Force, a never-ending pool of unbelievable energy. He can fire several different energy-based projectiles like Chaos Spears and Beams, but his most powerful attack is Chaos Blast, a huge explosion which annihilates everything around him in seconds. He can also manipulate time and space with Chaos Control, though depending on the situation, using this technique to its fullest takes time and is impractical in combat. Also, Shadow wears two inhibitor rings, which restrict his access to the Chaos Force to maintain control. Should he remove them, his power increases immensely, but is somewhat uncontrollable and quickly tires him out. His chaos power also increases depending on the number of chaos emeralds he has. And when he gets seven of them, <laughs> He goes Super. Super Shadow is the pinnacle of his powers, receiving a 1,000% increase. He can fly, move near the speed of light, and is totally invincible. Despite this, Shadow's Super Form can only last a few minutes. But considering his super speed, a short time to him is a long time to his opponent. That's not all. I'm full of surprises. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. Oh, wait, let me get a new book first. An audiobook? From audible.com. For people who are too lazy to read or are blind. But that's why I get them. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable audiobooks. With over 75,000 titles in every genre imaginable, each can be downloaded to your MP3 player and played back anytime, anywhere. It's like TV for just your ears. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash deathbattle to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Can't argue with free, but now it's time for a death battle! There you are. 
I knew I sensed an extraordinary power around here. Well, that certainly sounds like me. Uh, who and what are you? I am Shadow the Hedgehog, the ultimate life form. Ultimate life form? A weird looking rat is an ultimate life form? <laughs> That's a laugh. What of advice, freak? You're a little on the short side to try to be threatening. Funny. I was going to say the same thing about you. You've just sealed your fate, fool. Fight! Alec Gun! Fire! Pathetic. Before you die, let me show you a true ultimate life form. <laughs> Tell me, Hedgehog, does a lab rat like yourself experience fear? You have no idea who you're dealing with? What's this? Behold the true power I possess! Wow! What a ripoff! Ah! Where'd he go? Right behind you. The hell? How did I get here? <sighs> that was easier than I thought. I guess I'm better than- <laughs> Shit! Cheap trick teleporting me underwater, coward! Cut the act and give up already! You're nothing compared to me. God damn it. <laughs> Playtime's over, runt! No. Is he insane? Chaos! Control! Yes! I did it! Congrats, Furball. It's time to end this. Chaos Blast! Uh-oh. Sayonara! <laughs> oh, somebody call PETA! We're down a hedgehog! With Super Shadow's godly power and invulnerability, the question wasn't if Vegeta could kill Shadow, it was if Vegeta could survive Super Shadow. But Vegeta's proven time after time he can take one hell of a beating and lasted long enough for Shadow to turn back to normal, giving Vegeta the opening he needed. His loud mouth certainly helped the minutes pass too. Looks like Shadow's time was up. The winner is Vegeta. Next time on Death Battle. Got an idea for Death Battle? Subscribe and leave a comment below. And please like and favorite the video to help support the show. Also, big thanks to Nick and Kurt and everyone from Team4Star.com. Couldn't have done it without you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>